All right, I've been using baking soda uh, every, trying to use it every day for the past three or four days, and it's been very painful on my toes. That's somewhere around there, toes in there, and it's been painful. Um, also, I've, I've tried a little uh, baking soda on my tailbone too because that that periodically gets um, itchy. And in, in a kind of in bleed, bloody when I itch it, I've been I think it's been getting a little bit better because I've I've been um, reducing the pressure I put on it uh, by using a, a backpack here. I got a back I lean against a backpack full of a uh, cloth and blankets, and and I try to lift it up periodically so I don't put any. Yeah, it's uh, it's risen up. I'm, I'm I'm reducing. I'm putting more pressure on my back, the small of my back. Uh, but yeah, the biggest issue is is my toes. There, there's open open wounds, open sores that bleed, and it's my toes still get itchy too. They were itched. To, I had to itch and I had to scratch them this morning. Um, I understand uh, the uh, vinegar is supposed to reduce the itch. I didn't put any vinegar on just out of fear of the pain. See I'm feeling a little pain in my finger because there's there's probably an open wound. <laughs> any open wounds, if you put baking soda on any open wounds then you're going to experience some pain. Um, uh, that's, that's it. The, the little the cyst is still present on my my trapezius. It's just kind of stagnant. Um, uh, overall, my my heart, I don't know, it seems okay. I've been trying to change up my diet. I've been eating more of these chili peppers. These suckers are delicious. They're like they're like fruit roll-ups or leather strips. Very delicious just eating them by themselves. But I do prefer, when I got the time, to I prefer to crush them up in water and make a paste out of them. I prefer the paste... And especially mixing it with uh, something like chicken too. Uh, chili paste with chicken is delicious. It's it's like barbecue. It's pretty much barbecue. You do chi tomatoes and chili as your paste for any meats. That's your barbecue sauce. Um, so uh, I I I, uh, I get I get itchy sometimes in in the ears too. It's like a like a, a bacteria buildup, I scratch it. And I, it hasn't really uh, gotten as bad as um, between my toes or in my crotch or anything. So that's that's pretty good. Um, I've gotten a lot of zits, a lot of pimples on my legs and my butt. And the heat used to do. It used to be a big problem in in the Wisconsin when I was a teenager. Okay with the high fluctuation of, of hot and cold, like dry, cold, and then the seasons change to a very moist uh, summer. Um, I've come from the desert, and then I've come to uh, here, which is a much higher moisture content. That's why my toes are giving me itching problems, fungal problems. But uh, I'm getting more zits on my legs. so. I've spent a long period of time in the the desert, okay, and and that includes that includes Boise, and and uh, just coming south, Salt Lake, and and Las Vegas. So I spent a lot of time, and then and then I I jump over to the ocean. I think I think um, it's either my legs are going, my skin's going through a shock with that. Or it's these greasy pants that are just dirty. I've wore pants that are dirty pants for months on end without washing them in the past. This is a this is a different fiber though. It it, it kind of locks in grease a little bit more. Uh, but the, yeah, that could be a factor. I just changed out my my shirt. I got a, a cleaner shirt right now, and it'll just slowly start getting browner and browner. Um, that last shirt, that was that was like it was ripping. Um, it was ripped in the armpits. When I finally took it off, I could see it, uh, and I see it was ripped in the armpits, and and it was ripping as I was taking it off. It was it was that crusty. Um, uh, but yeah, that's 
just trying to get this foot to recover. 